Breaking tonight, our worst fears realized as secret Pentagon intelligence assessments again leaked to a gaming site reveal that thanks to Biden's surrender to the Taliban and catastrophic withdrawal, Afghanistan has once again become a haven for terrorist plots against America. Evening, everyone. Welcome to The Next Revolution. More on that story in a moment with Congressman Mike Waltz, who joins us live tonight. But first, as if we and the world haven't suffered enough, we're told that the announcement, which according to an NBC News poll out today, 70% of Americans don't want to see, is happening on Tuesday. Yes, he's really going to go through with it. He can barely walk, barely speak, barely make sense, barely do the job he's got now, but whatever. Four more years. Four more years? He'll struggle to get through four more days. That's not being mean. It's what Biden's own people think, as I'm about to show you. This is the most perfect, delicious morsel of truth from the White House itself about the decrepit husk in the Oval Office. I spotted it in a long New York Times piece about the coming Biden campaign. Honestly, this is so good. I've been looking forward to sharing this with you all week. Here it is. This is from the White House, remember. They briefed the New York Times that they're going to try and keep Biden off the campaign trail for as long as possible to avoid, quote, the risk of age-related mishaps. Age-related mishaps. Just save that for a moment. The White House, the Biden White House, is saying that Biden needs to be hidden away because of the risk of age-related mishaps. The risk of age-related mishaps. The entire Biden presidency is an age-related mishap. And we saw the substantive consequences again this week of having a senile president. On the debt ceiling debate, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy put forward a clear and credible plan, including such wild and radical ideas as keeping the federal budget at 2022 levels and saving unspent COVID money. In response, despite going on and on about what a disaster it would be if there's no agreement, the White House is saying Biden won't negotiate, which Biden then repeated at the end of some rambling speech in Maryland on Wednesday. I made clear to Speaker McCarthy about how we should proceed to settle our differences. <clears throat> no one should do anything to je jeopardize the full faith and credit of the United States of America. Instead, I'm making threats of default if I don't go along with what they want, which would be catastrophic to the country. If we don't do it, they say they're going to let default take place. What? When you see that, it's obvious what's going on here. It's not that Biden won't negotiate. He can't negotiate. Who thinks for one second that that man you just saw, that bumbling, incoherent mess, could sit in a meeting and coherently debate the details of the debt ceiling? As a Wall Street Journal editorial observed over the weekend, quote, in 2008, Hillary Clinton ran an ad saying that she was prepared to take a 3 a.m. phone call in a crisis. Could an 84-year-old Joe Biden take a 3 p.m. call? Biden clearly doesn't have the mental or physical capacity to negotiate the debt ceiling, the federal budget, or anything else. But it's Biden's job to negotiate. When the voters choose divided government, it's the president's job to make a deal. A president incapable of doing that shouldn't even be serving out his current term, let alone asking for a second one. If there's a default, because Biden can't do his job, it would be the most costly age-related mishap in history. But guess what the White House is counting on to overcome the age-related mishaps and win the election? Here's what they told the New York Times. Quote, if Mr. Obama had soaring oratory and Mr. Trump had concert light rallies, Mr. Biden's advisors feel his strength is his <laughs> governing ability and projection of competence. Of course, Biden's governing ability and projection of competence. How could we have missed it? In fact, Biden's lugubrious lackey, Senator Dick Durbin, pointed to the president's governing ability just this morning. He was asked about an editorial in the New York Times, even there saying Biden's, quote, refusal to engage with the public regularly raises questions about his age and health, to which Senator Durbin said... I think his schedule reflects an active person, mentally and physically, who is engaging with the American people on a regular basis. I don't know what more they're asking for. Well, I don't know either, Senator Durbin. Let's take a look at Biden's schedule, shall we? What does Biden's big launch week look like? Well, CNN showed us on Friday. Monday, partisan photo op. Tuesday, the big launch, except it's not an actual event. They're just releasing a video. Wednesday, photo op with the South Koreans. Thursday, nothing. Friday, a donor meeting. And that's it. There's basically only one thing in the entire week 
the meeting with the South Koreans that you could even vaguely describe as governing. And this is their launch week. Not exactly the greatest showcase of governing ability I've ever seen. What about the other part? Biden's, quote, projection of competence. Well, I mean, they're spoilt for choice. So much competence to project. There's the border competence, of course. They'll want to project that for sure. All well, the fentanyl that's coming in. And the drug cartels running operations now right across America in nearly every major city. There's the economic competence. Can't leave that out. Creating inflation with reckless spending, claiming it was transitory when it was obvious it wasn't, blaming Putin, then spending even more, making sure the inflation lasts longer and the high interest rates needed to control it cause even more pain. Maybe they'll project competence with a recession this year to add to the two years of falling real wages. Oh, and the trillion dollar deficit achieved in just six months. They'll no doubt want to project the competent way Democrats run our great cities, tipping them into crime, squalor and decay, rampant homelessness, drug addiction, murders, robberies, assaults. That's competence for you. That is what you call governing ability, chaos all across America. But it's not just here in America. Don't overlook Biden's masterful governing ability and projection of competence around the world. The supremely competent way he surrendered to the Taliban and scuttled out of Afghanistan. Let China become the peace broker in the Middle East. North Korea, back to terrorizing its neighbors with missile tests. Saudi Arabia, cutting oil production, dumping America in favor of our adversaries, China and Russia. India, now being driven into the hands of Russia. Brazil, striking a deal with China to ditch the US dollar and use China's currency for trade. I mean, you've got to ask, have we ever before seen such governing ability and projection of competence? Seriously, when have we ever had a leader as competent as this? Or this? Or even this? What are they even talking about? Age-related mishaps. With Biden, it's just non-stop competence and governing ability. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. How quickly we forget? I'll either be rolling egg or you know, being the, the, good, you know, the guy who's pushing them out. Kleptocracy. Uh, yeah. Kleptocracy and club. The guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> yeah, I'll paraphrase the phrase in my old neighborhood. The rest of the country, is, the world's not a patch on our genes. Think about what you'd think about. Uh, I can't have trouble reading this. Well, I'm sick and tired of smart guys. Um, what am I doing here? <laughs> well, that is the question, isn't it? What is he doing there? Give us your thoughts on Biden's age-related mishaps and whether you want four more years of them on the new free Twitter at NextRevFNC and at Steve Hilton X and share this message when we post it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.